Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up Arvorus for your Minecraft server to protect it from DDoS attacks and keep your players connected smoothly. Now this video is sponsored by Arvorus who kindly support the channel, but don't worry because everything I'll show you today is my own thoughts and they haven't forced me to say anything about their service. So Arvorus is a DDoS protection provider, very much like TCP Shield, which I also made a video on, but these guys have some really solid benefits, uh, especially if you're looking for a paid solution with better value and performance in many areas. They have a custom Anycast network, which means lower latency in most regions compared to TCP Shield's free plan, which uses OVH. They also have better layer 7 protection, and Arvorus plans start at just $10 a month. And for that, you get unlimited bandwidth, unlimited domains, and access to several key locations around the world, like New York, LA, Frankfurt, Tokyo, Singapore, and more. They also plan to open up even more locations for customers as they grow. So let's get into how you set it up. So before we get started, you'll want a domain that you can change DNS settings on, as we'll need to do that to point the domain to the Arvorus servers. So first, you want to head to their website, which is arvor.is, and you can head to their pricing page here, which shows you their plans. So this is their pricing that they've got. They don't have a free plan, unfortunately, so you're better off going for TCP Shield if you just want extremely basic DDoS protection. But in terms of a pay plan, I think this is better value. So you can choose which pricing you want compared to your network and how much you want to spend. You can see what they all include here. For this tutorial, I've been given the value plan, which I'll show you how to set up now. So here I am in their panel and I've been given my plan. And once you've got your plan, you can come back to the networks tab here and create your server here. They so just click the plus button here to create a new network. And then you want to name your server. So this can be called whatever your server's called, of course. I'm just gonna call it my server for this tutorial. So then we go over to the domains tab and you wanna add the domain that you want players to connect with to your server. So you can use a main apex domain or a subdomain and we'll set up the DNS for this after we create the server. But the domain I'll be using will be arvorist.atomatrix.gg and make sure you also own this domain, otherwise you won't be able to change the DNS for it. So you don't actually have to click add domain because that adds a new one. So you can have multiple domains if you wish. So I'm just gonna have the one and then move on to backends. So in the backend section, just click add a backend and you wanna put your actual server's numeric IP here. So I've just grabbed mine and pasted it in here. And this is where people will get sent to once they enter the proxy. If your host doesn't give you a port, by the way, then in here you want to put 25565, which is the default Minecraft server port, and the port of the numbers just after the semicolon in your IP. Something cool you can also do here is you can add multiple backends, and then players will be distributed between all the servers at one time. So if you've got multiple servers of the same thing, then you can distribute them out evenly and keep an even split of your servers. But I'm just going to keep the one here. And then if your connection is a proxy, so if you're using bungee cord or velocity, you want to enable the proxy protocol switch here, and then also enable proxy protocol on bungee cord or HA proxy protocol in the velocity config file, depending on which one you're using. Hello, just an editor's note here to say that you always want to enable proxy protocol every time. And then also no matter if you're on a proxy or just a standalone paper server, if you're on a proxy, you want to enable proxy protocol on your proxy settings. Or if you're on paper, you can go to the paper config file and you can enable proxy protocol in there. So make sure this is always checked and then also make sure to change it on your server, no matter if it's a proxy or a standalone. Next, we go over to the anti-bot settings. So you can modify the under attack connections per second trigger. Arvorist recommends setting this to about 10 connections per second, but you can modify this if you're getting false positives, for example. And you can also choose to block invalid names, which I will be doing. And then if you're on the value plan, you can also change the messages that are sent to players. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave them exactly how they are. And then if you click done, then you should get a notice saying that you need to point your domains to here. So now we need to go over to our DNS provider. So my DNS provider is Cloudflare. I've gone to the DNS management for my atomatrix.gg domain. So I've copied the URL that we had before and we're gonna to wanna to create a new record and this is gonna to have to be type CNAME. And you wanna set the name of this record to the subdomain you chose earlier. So for me, I used Arvorus, but you'll need to change this to whatever your subdomain was. And on Cloudflare, you can use at if you want the root domain. So if you didn't do a subdomain at all, you just put at in here. And then in the target, you just paste what they put here. So this is the target. And then if you're using Cloudflare, also unproxy it since Arvorus is our proxy. And then click save here. And then after that, you should be all done. They also recommend whitelisting their IPs on your server's firewall to prevent any connection issues. At the time recording, there's seven of them and you can see them here, but I'll leave a link to this page in the description along with the main page to the docs. So you can add these to your firewall. They may change by the time you see this. So I'd go to the link and copy them straight out of their documentation. And just like that, you're running your server through Arborus, fully DDoS protected with solid performance and reliable uptime. Thanks again to Arvorus for sponsoring this video, and if you found this guide helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.